Blues man Willie Green was born in the 1930s in Pine Level, Alabama, to a family of sharecroppers and migrant laborers. As a young man, he traveled throughout the East Coast, harvesting peanuts, fruits, and vegetables. We used to travel up and down the road, Margaret Wecken, picking beans, squash, everything that you could name. Influenced by the musicians he met in the migrant labor camps, Willie began playing the harp and later the guitar. They used to have them big parties and they go from house to house playing, making music. In the 1950s, he settled in South Florida, where he continued to do farm work and play music in the camps and at blues clubs. He moved to Ocala in the 1980s and began playing with local musicians and performing for tips at the Yearling Restaurant in Cross Creek. There's a relationship that Willie has with the audience that's unlike a relationship that I've ever known with other musicians. With a rich vocal range and dynamic stage presence, Willie's performances dazzled audiences and musicians alike. He developed a reputation as the real deal and began performing festivals and concerts throughout Florida, opening for the likes of Buddy Guy and Eric Clapton. It just, I feel like that, uh, that I'm doing what the people want me to do. When we go there, we go there to please the people. He went on to participate in the International Blues Challenge in Memphis and has advanced the appreciation of blues music as an artist in residence in local schools. In 2010, he was honored by folklorist and human rights activist Stetson Kennedy with the Fellow Man and Mother Earth Award for his contributions to Florida traditional culture. I tell the young folks, I say, when you, get, when you go out there, get yourself together before you even start. Just go out there like it ain't, ain't no tomorrow.